Hi, this is Chaitra Ashwat Narana, an Empire of Effort Project Spring 2019. Product owner for the project is Dr. Masood Sajadi. So this subtask is basically created for the user story EFRT 496, wherein this subtask is basically for adding, modifying, deleting, and also viewing the list of export advisors for the Guru account. Uh, let's get into the user story. So this is the main user story for the auto managing auto trading algorithms. So this subtask is basically related to the export advisors. So as it is described here, a guru account uh, guru should be basically able to add, modify and delete the list of export advisors and um, also enable and disable them. Uh, so th the same list which is enabled here would be available for the admin for the various other transactions. So uh, this also requires us for a table to be created with these particular fields. So let's get into the database to see for the table that has been created. So this is the list of expert advisors table that's created with the uh, four various fields that has been as required. So get getting on to the Visual Studio. Uh, there are some set of stored procedures that's been defined. So let's get into each one of them to see. So the first one was for uh, adding uh, export advisor. So we have the stored procedure that's been created here, wherein the data has been inserted into the particular table. And um, next we have is for deleting the export advisor. So this is the stored procedure that's been created to delete the list of um, the data details from the front end. Uh, from the table and uh, we also have a store procedure that's been created for getting the list of expert advisors so this would allow us to fetch complete the list of the expert advisors in the database to be viewed um, viewed the same on the guru front end page and we also have the list of uh, get expert advisors so this is for uh, uh, fetching a particular field in order to update them uh, that has been done by the guru account and uh, also editing the expert advisors so this is for updating the fields from the guru account homepage. so getting on to the project uh, we have the same um, scenarios that's been defined here under the add expert advisor we have a view that's been created for them and um, editing the expert um, advisor also um, we have it for the viewing the list of expert advisors and the same um, functionalities that's been defined in the registered controller we get into the registered control we have a uh, model that's been created for the auto trading algorithms so this is for fetching the list of expert advisors and the list of uh, the expert advisors and um, the same thing is being defined in the entities uh, we have the uh, expert advisors entities that is for uh, fetching the details and to set the values of the same so the same um, See, defined over the registered controller. We can get into the Guru account section here, wherein we have, so this is the Guru account region. So we have the details for the Guru home, the expert advisor information, uh, viewing the expert advisor, adding the expert advisor, and um, editing the expert advisor. And also, um, deleting the export advisors so the same details is also being called out in the forex manager and um, so we can see that the export advisor of uh, scripts has been defined here and also in the forex db we have the functionalities that has been designed here and the same thing goes into the web api uh, where we have defined the functionalities for adding an expert advisor viewing the same and also deleting the same so these are the script that's been scripted over the visual studio so getting on to the demo let's see how the same looks here so i will log in as a guru account
this is the Guru homepage that has been designed where with the three different tabs. So this the task is for creating the expert advisors. So let me get into the viewing the list of expert advisors. So this is how the list actually looks. Now, if I want to add a expert advisor, I will just get into add expert advisor and um, and parameter defined so i would like to enable this and add advisor so we can see that the details has been added here and um, moving on to the next scenario if i want to edit the same if i want to disable this particular advisor i will just get into edit and I would like to disable this advisor. I don't want this advisor. So disabling it can see that the uh, advisor is disabled. And also for deleting, if I want to delete this particular advisor from the table, I just click on delete and uh, the advisor gets deleted and we have the successful message that's been shown up here. So this is all for this user story. For any other details, contact the product owner, Dr. Musul Thank you.